Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be all about beauty influencers that I think you should be following on Snapchat. I did this video about a month ago or so and I did it on beauty brands that I think that you should follow on Snapchat, some of my favorite brands that are really active over on the app. And I asked if you'd wanna see this type of video but talking about beauty influencers, beauty bloggers, beauty YouTubers, and you guys said yes. And I just got a comment the other day asking when this video is coming and I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and film it. So I do have 10 different beauty influencers that I want to talk to you about that I love following over on the Snapchat app and that I would highly recommend you follow if you are not following yet. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. So I also recently posted a video about beauty YouTubers that I watch and love. I featured 20 different YouTubers over there, so I'll have that video linked down below as well. You're going to see a lot of repeats in this video. I tried to choose the beauty influencers who I feel like are really active over on Snapchat. You know, some of my favorite beauty YouTubers that I watch, they just aren't super active over on that app. So I really try to choose those that I think are the most active and some of the most fun to watch. So to get it started, I'm gonna talk about my friend Olivia from Liv Loves Her Makeup. I absolutely love Liv. I find her hysterical and I think her Snapchat is just like her YouTube. She is very uncensored. She is very unfiltered. She's gonna tell you what she thinks in her Snapchat and I just really enjoy that about her. She also has, not only one ferret, but now she just got another ferret. So she's got two ferrets always running around in her Snapchats, which are just so funny to watch. She typically has really long Snapchat stories. I love that. I know that I can just sit down, click on her Snapchat story, and she's gonna tell me a whole story. She's gonna talk to me about her day. She's gonna let me know what makeup she's wearing, what skincare she's wearing. Her Snapchat is very informative, yet at the same time, very fun. And there's always lots of makeup and beauty related items over there in her Snapchat. I will have each of the Snapchat names of each influencer that I'm talking about over here. And then I will also have them linked down below if you do wanna add them on Snapchat. So hopefully you find that helpful. But that is the first one I want to recommend, Olivia from Live Loves Her Makeup. Right, so next up, I wanna talk about SL Miss Glam or SL Miss Glam Beauty. I absolutely love watching her YouTube videos as well. They are just so cheery and full of pastels and color and that is exactly what her Snapchat is like too. They remind me exactly of her videos. She does own her own brush company which I think is super cool. You can tell in her snaps like she's just a girl boss and I think that's amazing. She's always showing us sneak peeks of her brushes and she's always showing like the most gorgeous photos. Sometimes I just screenshot her photos on Snapchat just because I want some inspo even though I feel like I just don't have it in me to decorate the way she does because she's just the absolute cutest. But she also does have a ton of giveaways over on her Snapchat as well. She's always trying to do giveaways for her brushes or for her brush books, which I think is really, really awesome. So if you haven't checked out SL Miss Glam yet, I highly recommend you do. If I want to talk about my friend Kendall or Kendall Alfred, she's actually a newer channel to me. She was recommended by a ton of you guys when I was asking for beauty YouTuber recommendations a few months back. I found so many new YouTubers through just asking that question, which I thought was so amazing. But Kendall was one who I started watching her videos. I immediately subscribed and then I immediately went and added her on Snapchat. I always do that. Sometimes I just forget and then I see somebody else on YouTube talking about their Snapchat. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to remember to add them on Snapchat. But I added Kendall right away because I just immediately felt some sort of like click with her. I feel like that she's very down to earth and very relatable. And I just, I really enjoy watching her videos. She loves to try new makeup. She loves to talk about new makeup and over on her Snapchat. She really enjoys swatching and it's funny because I was just watching her Snapchat this morning and she's swatching a bunch of Ofra highlighters and I was like salivating. I, I wrote into her and I was like, girl, you're all those highlighters. I think I wrote something like holy ish or something to that, to that extent, but I feel like she's doing a lot of swatches over on her Snapchat. A lot of times they're highlights, which are like one of my weaknesses at this moment. I think that her Snapchat is super fun to watch and as always with everyone that I'm mentioning, I will also link their YouTube channel down below in my description box as well as their Snapchat name, but I highly recommend you check out Kendall Alfred as well. Next I wanna talk about Jessica Braun, our Jam Beauty 89 over here on YouTube. I love watching Jessica's snaps. She's always talking about makeup, of course, like a lot of these are, but she gives a lot of reviews over on her Snapchat as well. A lot of times she takes us through her morning routine as well, what she's gonna be wearing that day. She'll do check-ins. I also really enjoy watching her snaps because her husband is a travel agent and they do a lot of traveling and she snaps a lot when she is traveling and she was just at, it was either Disney World or Disneyland, I can't remember which one she was at, but she was just there. All these snaps, like, 
I was watching them like a fanatic. I have been to Disney World once. It was just like a couple of years ago. It was actually a work trip with my husband, but I was still watching her snaps like just in awe because I love the Disney princesses. I was having so much fun. I felt like I was there. So I feel like that's really cool because you get a ton of makeup talk with Jessica. You get a ton of reviews over there and you know swatches and things like that. But at the same time, she's always traveling with her husband and then she takes you along on the trips, which I think is really awesome as well. So one to check out for sure for your Snapchat is Jessica Braun or Jam Beauty 89. So I want to talk about Shay or that girl Shay XO over here on YouTube. I love watching Shay. I feel like she is always happy. I feel like she always has such a positive outlook about any situation. And of course, that's not to say like she's just, you know, she never gets down or she never has a bad day because of course that's not possible. But I feel like she's someone who really just, she has that general positive outlook on life. I feel like I get that from her YouTube videos. And I also feel like I get that from her Snapchat. She's always just happy about something or something is making her day or something is good. And I know when I watch her Snapchats, I'm just going to be like, yeah, everything is okay. That's kind of the vibe that I get from Shay. So I just really enjoy watching her. She's someone who's also recently engaged. I love seeing the, the snaps of her and her fiance Alok out and about. Like I, I feel like I could definitely be friends with everyone that I'm speaking about, but Shay as well. I feel like I could be friends with her. I'm so excited for her upcoming wedding. She also cracks me up because she's not afraid to snap when she gets a couple of drinks in her. And then her Snapchats really crack me up. You got to check out that girl Shay on Snap. Next up, I want to talk about Stephanie or Babs Beauty here on YouTube. Her snaps, man. Her snaps are something else. If you love makeup, if you love seeing new makeup, new releases, if you love watching hauls, like if that's one of your favorite things to watch on YouTube is hauls, you have to add her on your Snapchat because she is always hauling. I would say at least every other night, she has like an hour long story on her Snapchat doing hauls. A lot of it she buys herself. Like she is such a huge makeup fanatic and she's always talking about it. A lot of it is orders that she is placing and I love that she always is trying to find indie brands too. I feel like I'm always hearing about new companies or new products through her Snapchat, but she also gets a ton of PR because she has so many subscribers over here on YouTube. She gets a ton of PR. She goes through everything. She swatches everything. I just think that's really cool. A big reason why I really love the Snapchat app is because I feel like you get a different side of everybody because Snapchat to me just feels a little bit more personal. We're over here on YouTube, you know, you're doing your makeup and your hair and you got your outfit on and you're setting up your lights and your camera and getting everything ready and you need to hit your points in your video and all of that. But over on Snapchat, it's much more relaxed, it's personal, you're just hanging out with your friends. And I feel like through Snapchat, I've really gotten to see a different side of Stephanie. When I first started watching her channel, she was like 99% tutorials and a lot of them were voiceovers. So it's really hard to get someone's personality when they're really just doing makeup on camera and then they're talking over it. Really cool when I did add her on Snapchat that I was like, oh, I finally, you know, can kind of see the real her and see who she really is. And I, I really do feel a connection with her. I've talked about her a lot on my channel. It's really felt like I, I could get more of a connection with her. The Midwest girl, I love seeing her go to all of her concerts. I love her dogs so much. They are super cute. And I also love her husband. He's very active on her Snapchat as well. And he is always cracking me up. Those two together just make me laugh. I would love to go out with them for a night because they really do crack me up. But she is definitely one. Stephanie from Babs Beauty. You gotta add her over on Snapchat. I okay, almost finished. We have four more left to go. Next I want to talk about Amanda Ensing. Amanda is super interesting to follow on Snapchat because I feel like she's definitely not someone who is afraid to get personal over there. It's like I said, it's definitely one of the reasons why I like Snapchat because I feel like people are just a little bit more relaxed over there and I'm including myself in that as well. You're just a little bit more relaxed and I think one thing with Snapchat of, of why people can feel such a close connection with those who follow them on Snapchat is because someone has to really go and find your Snapchat. It's not like you're just going to stumble upon it on your YouTube page. It's not going to be in your recommended profile. I'll click on this video. You really have to go and find them and then you have to add them and then you have to find their stories so you can watch what they're saying. It's not just a boom click like you can on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or things like that. You really have to like take the time and search for them. So I feel like you just have to kind of take your time and search for them and that could be part of the reason why people feel like their snap fam, you hear that term a lot, like their snap fam is a little bit more closer and tighter across all the other social media platforms. But 
What I enjoy about Amanda is that she is not afraid to take an hour and sit down and talk about her struggles and how she got past them or how she hasn't gotten past them yet but she's still trying to work past them. I feel like those were always really interesting chats that she would have and a lot of times something she was saying was resonating with me so I would take my time and I would sit down and I would watch her snap story you know the whole way through because I wanted to hear her advice or just be able to listen to, you know, almost like a friend tell you a story about them and how they were dealing with that particular situation. It's also been really interesting watching her move out to LA and kind of her transition out there and her experiences that she's having. She she takes you along on Snapchat quite a bit as well. So that has also been really interesting. So if you have not added Amanda Ensing, she is one that I enjoy watching. Next up, I want to talk about Casey Holmes. I adore following Casey on Snapchat. She's definitely one of my absolute favorite YouTubers to watch. I've, she was one of the first ones that I started watching and I just absolutely adore her videos, but I also adore her Snapchats. I really, really love her dogs. She's got two dogs and they are so beautiful and she is always snapping them. They have the cutest little videos. She takes amazing photos on her Snapchat. I swear her dogs always look so good on her Snapchat. And I'm like, how do you get them to sit still like that? Cause my dog just, She's always all over the place, but the videos are so cute and she's always showing like when they get the bark box and the dogs are so excited about the bark box. I just love it. I feel like sometimes I get judged on how much I love my dog, you know, especially if you have friends who don't have dogs and they're like, wow, you're a weird dog person. And I feel like you get judged, but I feel like Casey is just like me. Like she loves her dogs just as much, if not even more than I do. And she's obsessed with them like I am with my dog. And I just love watching her snaps. Of course, at the same time, we also get a lot of makeup and beauty related snaps over there. Her makeup, her hauls, her little reviews. It's also been really interesting to watch her because she's also recently gone through a move. She is recently engaged, which is really exciting and going through her wedding planning. And that has been really fun to watch as well. All of those are super cute and I enjoy all of her snaps with him as well. And I'm just so excited to see their wedding and how everything turns out. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine it's going to be so beautiful. But if you are not yet following Casey Holmes over on Snapchat, you got to do it. All right, and then the last two ladies that I'm going to be talking about that kind of go together. I bet you guys have no idea who I'm going to talk about. But it is, of course, Katie and Desi or Luster Lux, Desi Perkins. I absolutely love this duo. They crack me up so much and their Snapchats are absolutely hysterical. I mentioned them in the beauty YouTubers that I watch and love and I just kind of feel like Katie and Desi go together. They are best friends. They recently did a collaboration with Those of Colors, which was really exciting. And they are always on one another's Snapchats, just making me laugh. And I feel like Katie was one of the first ones that I started following on Snapchat, like one of the first beauty influencers. I think I mentioned this story in a past video as well, but I actually started following her before Desi. I had seen some of Desi's videos and to me, she just seemed, and I'm not trying to say this in a rude way, but it just, it kind of seemed like she took herself too seriously, which like I was saying, sometimes you want to come across a little bit more professional on YouTube or you're trying to hit all your points or show your tutorial or do your swatches or do your reviews. It can be harder just to be kind of like laid back and chill and, and I totally get that. But so I just didn't really connect with Desi, like I connected with Katie's videos. So she was one of the first ones I added on Snapchat and I kept seeing this Desi on her Snapchat and I was like, I'm gonna add Desi Snapchat. I actually added Desi on Snapchat before I subscribed to her YouTube channel and once I added her on Snapchat, I was like, oh, no, I do love this girl. She's hilarious <laughs> because that's kind of how I mean that you kind of get, you kind of get a different side of everyone from their Snapchat as opposed to who they are only behind the camera and for their YouTube videos. And those two on Snapchat really crack me up because I feel like they are just super down to earth. They don't take themselves too seriously. Like they just, they love to have fun. And I mean, at the same time, you know, of course they're talking about makeup and beauty and swatches and their makeup looks. They can get those Snapchats where they just look absolutely beautiful and their highlights are on fleek and their outfits are amazing and oh my goodness everything is fabulous they're absolutely slaying those photos but at the same time like i want to insert a photo right here they were just in new york they're at rihanna's fenty beauty event and this is the snapchat that they took afterwards and i was like this is why this is why i love following them this is why i look up to them so much this is why i respect them so much because they do not take themselves too seriously because i can only watch so many snapchats of people just I can only watch 
so many of those so I enjoy that they still have those snaps in there like they they can still turn it on and look absolutely incredible and get those amazing shots but at the same time they're just having fun they're being themselves and I mean they're just they're just living life man they are living the life and it is super fun they take us behind the scenes with everything they always have a huge snap story they're always taking us on any of the trips that they're going to their husbands are always on their snaps their dogs are always on their snaps and I love their dogs too so they are some of my absolute favorite to follow on snapchat so if you are not following katie and desi yet on snap you just gotta do it all right guys so that is going to do it for the beauty influencers that i think you should be following over on snapchat i would love to know what you thought of the recommendations of everyone that i listed who are you already following who do you want to add or who are some that you love to follow on snapchat that you think i should be following because if i am not yet i will most definitely add them i follow a lot of people over on snapchat but i tried to cut this video down to 10 and that was really difficult to do but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and seeing some of my recommendations of course if you haven't added me on snapchat yet i hope that you will i will put my little ghost right here i'm just samantha.march or you can pause this video and snap this little guy to add me over on snapchat i'm very active over there i have a snap story almost every single day pretty much every single day i am over on snapchat and i have so much fun over there so i hope that you will add me if you haven't yet if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you will give it a thumbs up i hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and i'll catch you guys real soon in my next one bye